Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'll be showing you the installation on the 5th OTA update on the brand new OnePlus 2. Now those of you who follow me, you guys know this already, I've had this phone for a couple of months and I've been updating you guys all the way along uh, on all these OTA updates that have been hitting the OnePlus 2 in the last couple of months. Now I have received today the 5th OTA update so I thought I'll do this live installation in front of the camera. Uh, reason for that is because a lot of people who follow me, my subscribers and also people who often ask me questions online a lot of them have been asking me about the fifth OTA update and uh, quite a few of them actually had uh, failed installations and they've been they've been unable to install the OTA update I haven't personally done nothing so far with the update it's been sitting and waiting for there for me uh, since uh, this afternoon early afternoon so I thought uh, as soon as I get some free time I will show you guys if this actually works so we will do it right now in front of the camera we'll start downloading this and see if you are successfully able to install download and then install the fifth OTA update as you guys can see here it says Oxygen OS 2.1.2 this is the fifth OTA update ever since OnePlus 2 was released by OnePlus this will have a uh, new uh, improved uh, UX for preview in the camera and also um, if I can actually oh I was about to show you guys actually but I couldn't so um, I tell you what, we'll just install this anyway and I can show you um, uh, the actual stuff inside the uh, update uh, later on uh, because I've got some screenshots of this already. So let's, uh, as you can see guys, it has downloaded it already. So now let's quickly install it and see if after rebooting the phone, if the installation goes uh, as it should. Quite a few people, like I said, have asked me already that they had failed installation for 2.1.2 and they were having some trouble. So we'll see right now if if it works if it doesn't work then I will uh, leave a link down below uh, in which um you will see when uh, the very first OT update hit OnePlus 2 a uh, couple of months ago a lot of people including myself we, uh, we all got stuck on that update and I had to manually flash uh, the update onto my phone uh, by going into recovery mode so what I'll do is I will leave that link of that video down below if the installation fails even if it doesn't fail I will still leave the link down anyway so that all of any of you who wants to flash this ROM um, uh, from from the website from OnePlus's own website or any, any other source you can actually um, flash and install the update manually yourself if the normal standard installation fails so um, a lot of people like I said have been in touch with me so um, obviously and that's the reason I have uh, picked my instead of um, uh, doing it myself I thought I'd rather do it in front of you guys along with you on camera and we'll see how it goes but uh, quite a few improvements in installation guys there's some general bugs improvement and some system stabilization there are quite a few changes in the camera side as well also a lot of people uh, when they have trouble with the OTA update a uh, failed installation apparently OnePlus 2 uh, have also improved uh, that system as well so any of you having that problem if you're able to get this version of the ROM hoped, which is 2.1.2 then hopefully um, you won't have any more OTA update failed installation messages uh, come in the future there are quite a few other tweaks and updates on the phone um, in, in this particular OTA update uh, which I will show you in just a moment once I'm able to uh, successfully install this update as you guys can see here at the bottom I'm almost down to 30 to 40 percent and so far a no message has come up if I remember correctly during my first OTA update when I got stuck it wouldn't even go beyond 10% and straight away I had a message come up on the phone saying that installation has failed and a lot of people at that time even got in touch with me and I thought uh, I, even though I did book a, a remote session with OnePlus that's what you do when you when you call a OnePlus uh, and their customer services they will give you a remote session appointment which will be booked and they will probably see you and um, they will probably uh, see you online and they uh, try to remotely access your phone via their servers to do the installation manually but because they gave me like a week or two week state so I thought it's better to take control of things in my own hands and that's what I didn't uh, done the, um, the other time during the first OTA update so I manually flashed it and I actually showed you guys step by step exactly how you you flash a custom ROM or this uh, this official Oxygen OS ROM onto your OnePlus 2 we do not need to root the phone guys quite a lot of people ask me this question all the time uh, Jay do we have to root the phone no you do not have to root the phone guys uh, this the flashing a phone just means you go into recovery mode you put the zip file in in your phone and you, you go into recovery mode and you just simply install uh, by unzip 
unzipping that zip file which you will get from the internet what I'll do guys I will also provide you a link of the official Oxygen OS ROM 2.1.2 just down below um, I have got a few links which I've been sending to people in the past few days like I said many of them have been complaining and they have, they have had failed installations so what I'll do is I'll provide you that link officially from the OnePlus's own forum website where they, have, where they have all they have lined up all the Oxygen OS versions they have released ever since the phone came out and that will be very very helpful for you guys and I will also like I said uh, leave the link for my video my first video when I had the first OT update failed that will be exactly as you would do if your installation fails on 2.1.2 guys please follow that video the procedure is exactly the same and like I said I also leave a link for the OnePlus 2 Oxygen OS 2.1.2 ROM down below so you have both the links so in case if you want to follow that video and also you want to download that uh, uh, official ROM you can do both and you both have available to you at that point of time as you guys can see I've had no issues whatsoever I've done everything in front of you guys and uh, the installation has successfully almost concluded and now the OnePlus 2 is rebooting it takes a while to reboot guys but uh, hopefully uh, this won't have uh, much pro uh, much many problems from what I can see here right now guys as you can see um, it is rebooting and I am 90% sure that I should not get any message uh, about the failed installation if I was to get any message it would have most likely come during the installation or just before the installation that's normally where you have system files which are corrupt or uh, other other issues with the OT updates which normally people have there you go guys you can see Android is starting uh, I've got quite a few updates actually on, on the phone already so um, and th as you can see guys there's one thing I can you see the, the speed with which uh, um, OnePlus 2 is optimizing last time when I done the same thing live on the camera with the fourth OT update it took forever and in fact people complained the video was far too long and here you can see uh, OnePlus 2 is really going quick and this is also one of the improvements in this OTA update uh, the app optimizing uh, opening the app and executing the app on the phone has been much much improved by OnePlus 2 sorry by OnePlus on the OnePlus 2 and this is as you can see straight away from from almost 20 up to 124 25 it went there in just a few seconds so now I can see that OnePlus 2 is making use of the powerful hardware inside the Snapdragon 810 along with a 4 gigs of RAM now really coming into effect and uh, this OT update has definitely boosted the process up really really quick and as you guys can see it's getting up fairly fast now and hopefully this video won't be long for those who are probably getting annoyed by now and saying Jay is just saying too much or it's taking far too long but because like, like many like I said many of you guys and uh, my subscribers my followers and people online they complained to me and they were asking me questions about failed installation that's why I have decided to do a live installation in front of the camera showing you guys exactly what's happening and if there's any error or any issues that come up I will show you to guys now live on the camera straight away as you can see guys uh, so far so good and uh, not too bad one thing which I have uh, uh, also uh, shown it to you guys I did a Nexus 5x and a, a OnePlus 2 um, uh, OTG um, video a few weeks ago I think it was a week, probably a week or a couple of weeks ago and the OnePlus 2 was unable to recognize for some reason uh, this um, this uh, this OTG support I in fact have two different USB OTG cables uh, this one here is the one which is the type C on one end and the USB uh, normal on the other end I tried with this cable but did the OnePlus 2 never picked up uh, the USB stick uh, this USB stick I'm talking to you guys about I plugged this in in the, in the other day and it did not work for some reason so the OnePlus 2 officially is not still supporting OTG I'm hoping that after this installation after this OTG update uh, the OTG support is back even though in the chain change logs it doesn't say nothing about this anyway this is the one of the cables that I had type C on one end and USB on the other end then I also ended up getting an other uh, cable as well which I'll show you in just a moment guys let me just unplug this now this one here is basically the normal USB OTG cable which you would plug in a normal phone with a micro USB on one side as you guys can see here and the, the regular USB on the other side but because the OnePlus 2 has a type C USB there you guys you can see so this won't fit in so for that reason I also have an Aki uh, adapter which helps in making sure that the normal micro USB end can be converted into a type C um, end so I use this Aki adapter to actually plug this in 
uh, there we go it's going to get plugged in like that there we go and now the normal USB OTG cable becomes type C OTG cable so that we can plug this in so I I initially thought that this cable the type C one was probably faulty and that's why it wasn't it wasn't picking up one plus two but the Nexus 5X was picking up in that video that I made for some reason so I still thought let me give one plus two another chance and see if I can do it with a regular USB cable so I did I use this to plug into one plus two guys and uh, again it failed there was no support so that kind of kind of kind of confirmed it to me that um, it seems to me as if whether you use the type C OTG cable or the regular type uh, type uh, to the normal type regular type OTG cable in both instances the one plus two is unable to uh, you know recognize that USB memory stick for some reason and it goes to show that one plus two officially doesn't support OTG as it says on 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 the phone so I'm very keen to find out if the USB OTG cable uh, I've, like I said I got both of them and I will give them both another try after the OT update and will report back to you guys very very soon in this video guys like I said this is just an installation video showing you how things are gonna go and if there's any error or any fail installations and so this is in this in this video I won't be discussing how the update has been so far because obviously I haven't lived with the update so the only way I can tell you guys and report back is uh, if I live with the update for a few days and then I'll come back to you guys and report you probably in a follow-up video for the fifth OTA update and then we can discuss everything in detail and this video is just more kind of starter guys uh, like I said installation and various aspects of the phone uh, which I have discussed now uh, there were quite a few things which I uh, on the OnePlus 2 like for instance the fingerprint scanner is pretty good it's not too bad actually but just recently it hasn't been as accurate as say something on the Nexus 5X ever since I've started using the Nexus 5X as you guys know I've been I've been testing that phone these days um, and uh, the fingerprint scanner on the Nexus 5X is very very accurate on the OnePlus 2 just recently I've, I've, I've seen that it's not as accurate or maybe sometime I have to really push hard my thumb on the fingerprint reader to get it working at times it will work straight away you just put your thumb up straight away and it works within with no problems whatsoever but at times you have to push it hard or you have to double tap the screen the screen wick the screen up and then you press on the thumb uh, on, on the fingerprint scanner to get it working for some odd reason I don't know why every now and then it just plays up but 90% uh, of times it's working just fine with no issues whatsoever also people have been asking me about uh, the Gorilla Glass on this phone I can confirm you guys that the phone has Gorilla Glass 4 so um, you don't have to worry about uh, putting a screen protector even though as you, if you see very clearly I'll bring the phone close to the camera and there is a screen protector already on the phone as you guys can see here this is going all the way along the border here so ever since I've got the phone I haven't removed as you can see the cutout here along the phone speaker as well I haven't actually uh, removed it and um, anybody who if you out there who is a bit casual or you don't want to bother with your uh, screen you, you want to make sure you're, you're you're protected and your screen doesn't get scratched I would suggest to keep the the uh, the screen protector on as default by um, like OnePlus have out of the box so leave it on if you want to keep your phone uh, protected and you don't have no scratches so leave it on and I'm sure uh, it will protect your screen I've had a few scratches left and right but uh, nothing major even though if I had the Gorilla Glass 4 exposed directly even then the Gorilla Glass will probably protect uh, but just to be on the safe side make sure you have the screen protector on just in case there you go guys as you can see Android is now starting is finished booting almost now and we are about to get to the home screen guys there you go boom so no issues here whatsoever let's use our thumbprint and see if we can get into the phone um, let's have a look boom no it's not picking up like I said guys the time is a bit funny so let's put the thumb up like that okay for some reason it's not picking up and that's what happens guys like I said to you a little while ago at times the screen is a bit funny and the thumbprint doesn't it just refuses to work so I'll enter my password in here and then show you guys okay maybe it's the fresh OT installation update or whatever but this is obviously not acceptable like I said at times guys it's good that it's happened right live in front of the camera and that's what happens every now and then guys but like I said 90% uh, of the times the fingerprint scanner seems to be working fine but let's give it one more try let's pick the phone up in the hand there we go it's opened up so let's give it one more try 
there we go it's worked up so I just failed for the first time after the OT installation and I wasn't uh, doing it after the OT update so guys as you can see I had no problems no issues uh, with the installation on oxygen 2.1.2 uh, so let's get into settings and have a look and see if we have the latest uh, Oxygen OS update. There you go guys, as you can see here, Android version 5.1.1 and we have Oxygen version 2.1.2 uh, guys installed successfully with no issues whatsoever. And like I said guys, because the DOT installation is new, uh, I haven't obviously spent enough time with it. So what I'll do is I'll do a follow up video and I will discuss everything with you guys and showing you what else is um, in the phone. Let me just have a look and see if I can open my gallery up guys and quickly show you those screenshots that I took. Uh, bear with me please. I'll show you in just a moment. Okay, there we go. Okay guys, there we go. That's the uh, that's the log here in my gallery. Uh, I took screenshots and those of you who follow me on Google+, Twitter and Facebook, uh, you must have seen this already. So we have improved UX uh, pro preview and camera, performance improvements on app install and launch. And this was the one I was talking to you guys. We saw it live on camera. It really did boot up fairly quickly as compared to when I done the fourth OTA and it took forever. So they have definitely improved uh, performance on app install and app launching. Okay, also we have individual icon customization support, uh, fixes for raw support and third party which I haven't used as much so I wouldn't be able to comment unless I use it, I can uh, tell you guys. Uh, also Russian and Turkish language support, lock screen wallpaper support, this, was, was, this wasn't available before, your same lock screen on your, your, your home wallpaper was your same lock screen as well so now you have individual lock screen wallpaper support. Uh, security patches, uh, which I'm sure you must have heard Google said they're going to be doing it regularly on a monthly basis so this must be those security patches and also uh, you have bug fixes to system to update to improve uh, OTA stability that's the one I talked to you about guys a lot of people complained where their uh, OTA installation failed so hopefully after this update or even if you manually flash it on the phone hopefully you will have you won't have this much problem uh, next time and you'll be should be able to successfully install the OTA update and no more bug fixes and performance update guys and hopefully this will make the system uh, much more improved and the size is only 25 meg guys it's not big anyway so it shouldn't take you long and as you've seen guys live installation no issues whatsoever and it's been successful so far so guys uh, thank you for uh, you know watching it all the way it's a long video but like I said a lot of people actually complained to me about, about the failed installation that's why I thought I'll do it from from all the way start till the end and show you guys I've had no issues in installing the update like always guys if you like my video please give it a thumbs up any questions about this uh, please ask me in the comment section and guys, please subscribe as it helps and I will see you in the next video.